Today I want to do a review of the fourth arrow camera arm that I bought. I'm just going to go through what I bought, what it costs, and then go through piece by piece what I think of it. And I don't think I'm going to be doing a lot of this on my channel. For one, I don't buy a lot of stuff for hunting. Um, but I feel compelled to do this video because I was really excited when I got this and now I'm, I feel like I'm let down just a little bit. It's not a bad camera arm, but it's not uh, what I expected. So I got the fourth arrow stiff arm. The price for this with the kit was 220 bucks and the kit comes with the standard 3.0 base and the 3.0 shoulder. That's what comes with that kit. It doesn't come with a video head, so I got the fourth arrow video head, $79.99. That's what comes with the, uh, this is the video head that does not come with the stiff arm. So that's what I originally per, uh, purchased, and I'll go through that real quick, what I like and what I don't like. Let's start out with the fourth arrow stiff arm. This is my favorite part. This is my favorite part of what I bought. It's made out of aluminum. It feels like it's nice and sturdy. I've already tried it out uh, here in the shop and it feels like it's nice and strong and it's smooth. It doesn't make any noise. It's got a nice powder coat finish on it. Uh, it comes with either a, I'm, I'm sorry, that's the head. So I'll get to that later. The only thing I didn't like about it was that shiny lock nut on the bottom. To me, that's like a detail that if fourth arrow had hunters that are making this stuff, I, I don't know, I'll probably have to throw some tape on it. It's probably too close to season. Otherwise, some uh, dull, you know, flat black paint should have been sprayed on there. So I love this. This is a good deal. This is where it kind of starts to fall apart for me. So the first thing is this base, this 3.0 base. It's sharper than hell. I don't, I'm not going to be able to pack that. And I haven't done anything to it yet, but I'm going to have to grind these down. It's just, it's too sharp. That's going to cut right through my pack and it comes with a ratchet strap and i knew that uh, when i bought it i hate ratchet straps i'll use rat ratchet straps on tree stands or climbing sticks or anything like that but only if it's before season starts if i can hang that in the spring or before season i don't i'm not doing this at six o'clock in the morning when i'm sneaking into a stand in the middle of, you know middle of the season i i hate ratchet straps and that's what it comes with um, so I'll probably have to buy a cam over or a cam locking strap if I'm going to be using these in season. Then it comes with this 3.0 shoulder. So this, in my opinion, for fourth arrow, these shoulders with the 360 leveling, you can see the bubble in there maybe. So this stiff arm fits into the shoulder. I probably have to tighten down. Fits in the shoulder, then you can tighten that down. It's actually, it's a very nice setup. Don't get me wrong, it's a very nice setup. But what I don't like about it is if you have this, so you have your base, and then you have your shoulder, and I'm not gonna put it together here just for this review. But that's, to me, this is heavy and clumsy. And then you, you put this along, so now you have this in your pack, and then you add your head. To me, that's that's too much. That's that's this is too big and bulky. And there's no way I'm gonna haul that a half or a three quarter or a mile in with my pack that big and bulky and heavy. It says it's made out of aluminum. This feels like it's pretty heavy for aluminum. You know, could they made this out of high density plastic or something? Maybe. The quality's there. Don't get me wrong. The quality and the craftsmanship and the machining is really good but it, to me it's too big and clumsy so i weighed this setup right here along with the arm and it comes to four pounds just under five pounds which doesn't sound like a lot but when i'm going in a mile and i have all my stuff in my pack my pack is probably 20 pounds maybe more i, I never weighed it i don't want to add another five pounds especially this bulkiness I definitely don't want to be doing this in the morning or anytime really. I hate ratchet straps. So that being said, it's good quality, but I just, to me, it's like a hunter didn't put that together. Now, when you look at the video head, same kind of thing, 
It seems like it's good quality. It comes with a quarter inch or a three eighths uh, fitting on there. You'll need a three eighths for that stiff arm. And the first thing that happened to me when I went to mount that camera on that's on the tripod right now, it's a Canon with this mount for this video head. Uh, this doesn't fit into my tripod. And I have multiple tripods. I have a Nikon tripod, so that's good quality. This doesn't fit into it. So it's kind of a one and only. Uh, so if I want to switch, again, it's good quality. I'm not knocking the quality. Uh, it seems like it's a little clumsy in here. But is this is this made only for fourth arrow? And I'm, I'm speaking from an area of ignorance here because I'm not a professional uh, videographer at all. But in two of my tripods, this doesn't fit. So now I have to remember, let's say, if I'm going to be taking the tripod in a blind with me for hunting this fall, if I forget to, to swap this out, I can't use my tripod. Or if I've used my tripod and now I'm going to go and use this camera arm, it's not going to work. So all in all, you know, out of five stars, the package I got as a hunter that wants to pack in and stuff, I'm going to give it two stars, two and a half out of five stars. The camera arm, the stiff arm itself, I love. I do have a solution for it. I do have a solution for this. Obviously, you can get a cam over buckle to take care of this. But my goal is to carry this into the tree stand every, every day. That's my goal, is just this. This is not too bad. I can put this in my pack, uh, tuck this in, let that maybe hang out a little bit. This isn't bad. This ain't gonna get packed around, there's no way. So what I did is on their website, you could get, uh, let's see, what do I got here? A five pack of the standard tree base 2.0. So the standard tree base 2.0, and that's not a bad price. Standard tree base 2.0, is 50 bucks for a five pack, so you're looking at $10 a piece. Again, it comes with a ratchet strap. You have to put it together, which is kind of odd. I have not done that yet. So that's one solution, is this 2.0 uh, tree base. So I have five of those. So I can pick trees, let's say on the neighbor's property where there's a big black walnut that I'm hung in and I don't want to damage a tree. I can go ahead of time, even with the ratchet strap, and put this 2.0 base in. But again, it's not really something I want to pack around. My solution is, I don't know, for me, like I said, this thing is pretty awesome with the 360 leveling, but I don't know that I need that. I just don't know if I need that much leveling ability. And my solution for that is right here. So what I've done is I've taken a tree step. I have hundreds of these tree steps. And this is schedule 40, three quarter inch black pipe. And then all I did, from fourth arrow is I bought these, they call these the 3.0 shoulder downspout insert. These are five bucks a piece. It's a plastic insert. It is this piece. It's this piece right here that the stiff arm goes in. Okay, these are five bucks a piece. So I bought some of these shoulders and I mic them and the outside diameter of these are 0.815 inches Schedule 40 three quarter inch inside diameter is like 0.82 inches, which is perfect. So I made these to screw into a tree. Light, this thing weighs about five or six ounces. You know this is gonna hold up 200 pounds because it's a tree step. And now I got my stiff arm. And I can make 50 of these for probably about seven, eight bucks a piece, put them in my trees and now I'm good to go. Talk about leveling, as I'm screwing that in, if the tree's a little bit crooked, you know how to do that with screw steps, you just screw it in this way. So you have 360 leveling just with your screw, with your tree step. At the end of this video, so this is my review of the fourth arrow stiff arm and accessories at the end of this video if you want to stick around i'll show you how i made these so this is what i'll be using this fall i'll be using some of these other accessories that i bought but i'll be leaving them around but this is what i'm going to pack
if I'm if I'm going into the timber, this is what I'm going to pack with me for my stiff arm. One last point before we get into the construction of my, if you want to call it, uh, base and shoulder, if that's the term you want to use. I don't have anything to compare it to. So when I say I'm giving this two stars out of five, I don't. I have not sampled the muddy version and the other versions. So I'm going strictly off of one camera arm that I bought from Fourth Arrow, and this is the stiff arm, the 3.0 base and the 3.0 shoulder is what they're calling it. If I had to do it all over again based on what I've seen here, well, actually on what I've seen here, I would buy just the stiff arm. I would look into this uh, video head a little bit better to see if I can get one with a standard base here that can swap between my tripods and I'd stay away from all this stuff. Of course, you don't know that until you buy it. But hopefully you got something out of that and uh, that's my review of the fourth arrow camera arm stiff arm. So my fix for multiple permanent ways to leave uh, ways to mount this tree arm, this fourth arrow tree arm out in the field so I'm not having to lug around the ratchet strap and all the other apparatus and the leveling mechanism. So basically what that fits into, socket. My solution, my cost effective solution is to buy this shoulder from fourth arrow which is 0.815 that's the diameter here, and it just so happens, schedule 40, three quarter inch pipe. It's a snug fit. It's just, just a little bit bigger than 0.815. So I have some black schedule 40 pipe, and I'm gonna cut it about two and a quarter inches long and make my own nipple. This is galvanized with threads. And I'm gonna weld that piece that I cut just like that just like that to the top of a tree step. Then I can crank this in to the tree. I can get it nice and tight and I can do my own leveling pretty good and it's gonna be close enough. You know what I mean? How much is a tree step nowadays? Are these five bucks? I don't know, three, four, five bucks? I don't know, I got hundreds of them so it's gonna work for me. These bushings um, from Fourth Arrow are $4.99 so I can order a whole bunch of these a uh, piece of three quarter inch pipe is 10 bucks for 20 feet if you want it. Um, leave them out in the field all year long. If I have a tree that's going to be black, let's say a black walnut or a white oak or something I want to protect, or maybe it's a neighbor's tree, then maybe I won't use this screw, uh, screw and step. I, I'll put that ratchet piece on there. But for everything else, this is going to be the most cost effective way. And then all I have to do is carry this with me. No leveling, 360 knuckle, none of the ratchet straps. I hate ratchet straps in the field anyways, and I'm hunting. So all I gotta do is carry this with me, pop it in, I'm ready to go. So I already marked out two and a quarter on my pipe. And, uh, but before I do that, I'm gonna go through the different steps. I am gonna drill and tap quarter by 20, because when this fits in your nipple, See how it's slotted? Hopefully you can see that. See how that's slotted? You're actually gonna pinch that slot together. That's how this works. So I'm gonna put this in that nipple, and I'm gonna have a quarter 20 screw here. You can get these at any hardware store. It's just a little hand wheel, quarter 20. So I'm gonna drill and tap this first. I'm using a 1764 bit, quarter 20 tap. There we go, that fits really nice. Now I'm gonna cut it off, two and a quarter. The bushing is actually only two inches from the shoulder to the end, but I don't want this sticking out, so I'm gonna make it a quarter inch longer. Saws all aside. 
Now this pipe, this pipe is welded and I'm not going to be able to show it to you. But you're going to want to clean the ends up obviously, but there's going to be a weld line on the inside. Test your bushing, your bushing but I would uh, recommend filing off all your cuts and then just take a little bit of that weld off. So let's see how that fits. Like that. It's a little loose actually. If you find that it's a little loose, um, I don't know, a little piece of super glue when you're done, kind of hold it in there. And then see where I have that hole drilled and tapped? You're going to want to line that up with one of these faces. You don't want that coming down on here because again, your whole idea is to pinch that, pinch it shut. So if that's your hole, See what I'm saying? You're going to want to square that up when you put your bushing in there. Just like so. So now I'm going to weld this to my tree stuff. We're going to see how this goes because I didn't uh, have this, uh, I didn't do one of these yet. So we're going to see how this goes. I did ahead of time polish this up. I ground this off on this tree step. It's not perfect, doesn't matter. Because when you screw in your step, you just go a little bit, you know, once it's tight, you just go a little further or a little bit less. So it doesn't matter if it's perfect. Um, and even up and down with the tree, you can always, you guys know how to put screw in tree steps in, but if the tree's leaning out a little bit, then you'll just start your, your screw uh, your screw in tree step a little bit high. But here we go, we'll weld it now. Just like that. How does that saying go? It ain't gonna go nowhere. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go throw some water on this, cool it down. We might have to uh, run a tap through that again. I'll put that bushing in there and I'll kind of show you how it turned out. So it's cooled off. Here's the finished product. <laughs> Nothing real fancy. There's my adjustment hole there. I shouldn't say my adjustment hole, it's my tightening hole. And uh, let's see. Yeah. Put this in this direction. Like I said, I might have to glue that a little bit. That's going to clamp down on there. Let's uh, see how it goes. Not going to go all the way in. Just gonna simulate that that's excuse me, that that's the tree. Got that in there where I need it. There's my arm, the bushing. If I don't want it to loosen up, clamp down a little bit on that bushing. It starts to get tight. Where do you want it? Right? There you go. But I like, there's no weight there. I'm not going to be hauling those big heavy things around. And I like it. It's bouncy right now. You can see how it's bouncy. I don't have it screwed in all the way. So, good deal. That's how I make the uh, affordable and portable holder, bushing holder. I don't know what you want to call it. For the fourth arrow, tree arm.